This is a video for the Bocasset Ridge Trail in Tiverton, Rhode Island. It's about you know, three, three miles and change. And there's a nice cliff, uh, scenic view at the end of it. But I, I didn't find that. You know, I got lost. I get lost very easy. So uh, I did not get a picture of it. This is located kind of near the Pardon Gray Reserve in Weedemo Woods. Lots of old stone structures on the property. It's an old uh, Wampanoag area of land. Um, Pocasset means small cove in Wampanoag. Okay, so these are timber rattlesnakes. And uh, this guy, I think Robert Manchester, um, he claimed to have killed 1,300 to 1,500 timber rattlesnakes in these woods. And uh, he was active and around for 50 years. You know, at one point there was a bounty on timber rattlesnakes. So some people say they're still around, you know, um, I think the last confirmed sighting was 1966, but then I heard 1986, and then on a local page, I've heard that there was some, someone seen them recently on a farm. I'm not sure if that's true or if they're just messing with me. The more I started digging into information about this area, um, the more brutal stuff I started reading about, um, you know, with the Native Americans and the settlers, and just the, you know, the change of power in the area, you know, slaughtering of um, people, and, um, the transfer of land, you know, that was a little, a little shady. Um, that's the, the Picasset Agreement, I think. Um, there were a lot of violent things that happened in this area. That's, that's pretty much what I got. And uh, lots of death and disease. You know, the Native Americans uh, supposedly most of them died from smallpox or what they thought was smallpox at the time that I think was something else. But, you know, as, and then I started looking at old maps and I found this and it says, uh, you know, there's a cassette right there. And it says, Hellburn Woods. <laughs> it's a little spooky thing. This whole place was spooky. Um, I, I went, you know, right before sunset. You know, when I was walking out of there, it was dark, and it was, it was an eerie place. Here's a couple of antique items with the word Picasset. You know, some uh, sparkling beverage. So the name of the farm was the Cliff Farm, and they were in operation from 1690, and then, you know, the family, or whoever owned it, sold the property in uh, 2013 to make it a reservation state park. It's crazy to imagine what was going on in these woods 400 years ago with the Native Americans and how they had no idea what was coming.